Yo, what's up, Donald Dudes? It's me, the Meteor Raptor. Welcome to another episode of the Raptor's Den. Tonight, we're gonna watch something, actually. Something rather odd, which I really kind of wish I wasn't going to, but you know what? Why not? We're gonna watch We Wish You a Turtle's Christmas. For those of you who don't know what this is, let me put it this way. Back when the Ninja Turtles in the 80s and 90s were at their highest point, there was a live-action turtle animatronic costume band. No, I'm not joking. You can look it up. They actually had a tour and stuff like that. They were on Oprah, they had cassette tapes, they had deals with Pizza Hut. And this was the Christmas special some idiot decided to make. So you know what, you guys? Tis the season of suffering. Well, not really. It's the season of joy. So let's forget about that and suffer together as we kick back, relax, and check out We Wish You a Turtle's Christmas. This is gonna hurt. So let me start by getting this out of the way. I would be lying if I said I am not a Ninja Turtles fan. I love Ninja Turtles. Wow, that's some amazing looking effects actually. I'm sorry, that threw me for a loop. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, you guys, I, I, I know this is supposed to be not that good, but this is about Christmas. No, not heavy metal rock. Also, what's with the random turtle standing in jello? You know what? I want to look something up real quick. No, actually, you're not. The Jim Henson ones look really good. Even the new Ninja Turtles from Michael Bay don't look that bad. Does that mean you fight the Foot Clan and all that? Oh, that's it? Okay. Right, as I was saying, I love the Ninja Turtles, but... I just have a feeling this is gonna be really painful. I'm just looking up this, this little thing on IMDb, because I'm curious uh, if any of the uh, actors or any the director or the writers ever had any other work. Uh, let's see. Hey, kids, Wait. What do you think? Do we need more lights? We need more lights. They're coming, they're coming. Hey, kids, how about the Jamaican? <laughs> la 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 That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Okay, um, did they change actors from the first song to this one? Okay, this is just terrible. But I'm loving it. I'm not gonna lie. Although I can't tell which one's which. I can tell there's Donatello and Leonardo. Oh, okay, yeah, I can tell who Raphael and Michelangelo are. But why is Leonardo Jamaican? These are some terrible puns. This is painful. Hang on. Oh, one second. Uh, let's see here. And I'm thankful for that! Okay, here's what I wanted to look at. Um, Larry Osborne, the director of this, going to this, he's only directed this, and... That was weird, what was with that skip? And something called Turtles Tunes, with these same horrible-looking animatronic things. Or are they puppets? And his brother is the executive producer of The Matrix, Lord of the Rings, and those. So, Alfredo Miller played Michelangelo. Let's see if he's done anything. Nope, he's only done these two. Oh, no, he's been in uh, a movie called Shooters as Leper. I have no idea what that movie is. Florence Ray, uh, Florence Raymond, once again, has only been in, has literally only been in Turtle Tunes, and we wish you a Turtle Christmas, which we are currently watching. 
Oh, speaking of Leonardo, Ron K. Smith was... Oh, what do you know? He was only in this, Turtle Tunes, and the Coming Out of Their Shell tour. And I feel like I'm missing someone. Ah, Raphael. Eric Elizone. He actually has a uh, picture here on his IMDb page, so that means maybe he's done something. Let's see. Secret Disco Revolution... We wish you, a wish you a turtle Christmas, spontaneous, down periscope, the gritters. Nope, that's all he's done. And finally, Splinter, played by Jack William Scott. Oh, I could have predicted that, he's only done these. Okay, I have an honest question here, and I want this to be answered. The Turtles spent a lot of their time trying not to be seen. Like, they wore trench coats, or they hid in shadows, or... It was a pretty big deal that they could not be seen by people. And they didn't even really want to go above ground. So, why are they singing about going above ground? And for that matter, actually, how did they buy anything for Christmas unless they broke into stores late at night after everyone was gone? And also, this singing is horrible! Oh, thank you, it's over. Oh boy. But seriously, my question still stands. How exactly did they do all this if they're gonna. You know, they, they don't want to be seen. That was a pretty big deal. Oh, forget that then. No, just have them walking downstairs in the middle of the night where there's kids playing drums and stuff like that with garbage things in front of a flashing Christmas tree where everyone could see it. Uh, you get uh, singing lessons for you guys, because then next year you can actually sing a good song for him. When was this made? Nineteen ninety-four. Let me ask you guys a question. Was rollerblading a thing still in the nineties? I thought that died in the sixties. Hey, thanks for summing up my entire thoughts on what this is pretty much is. Okay, I'm really hoping that kid didn't just fly off a cliff and die or something. Oh, I'm just noticing it actually. What is Raph wearing? Seriously. What is. No, is that Michelangelo? See, in these shots, it's impossible to tell the two of them apart. But what's he wearing? I feel like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. So that means they must have spent about an hour singing. Wow, they can't even close their mouths? I have nothing to say. So, as if their faces weren't terrifying enough to look at with that constant open mouth look? Mikey's trying to sing opera? I wonder if the guy in the Santa suit knew they were even filming this. Like, I wonder if they just kind of walked up out of nowhere and just went, Hey, we're doing this, give me your bell. 
<laughs> okay, again, I think that must have been improvised. Like, they just tried to pick him up, but then when they couldn't, I'm pretty sure that wasn't meant to happen. Well, you guys, Christmas has always been about giving and spending time with the people you love. I'm really happy I'm spending my Christmas watching this with you guys. That's a mixture of sarcasm and being completely serious. You guys are the only reason I'm sitting through this right now. Oh, thank you, it's finally over. Hey, guys, there's only one hour of shopping left. But, uh, I've got too much too! But, we don't have a gift for Splinter! Okay, so... I could always sing for him! No. Not! Okay. I'm gonna get him a skateboard, man! No, a yo-yo! Yo, Daxi! Okay. Yeah, sneakers! Uh, do they have Ooh, extra product placement. These, dude. I'm on the cover, uh, man! Did you guys just see that head, uh, mouth movement? That was terrible. Seven, I want one! Tubular! I, I like well, that's that happening, Rambo. Okay, back to what I was talking about, though. Um... Nah. Man, what was it that just happened? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so essentially, they spent he spent an hour singing opera there, even though it felt like 12 to me. And, oh, please tell me if this is going to anything. It's Christmas Eve, and all my friends are here. Wrapping up presents, it happens once a year. You know what? Why not? I'm sorry you guys just all witnessed that. This is slowly eating away at my sanity. Okay, so, so far we've had a Jamaican song, a rap song, an opera song, and two a rock song, and two Christmas-like songs. That makes six songs in less than 12 minutes, and six different genres. You really gotta wonder, what were they thinking when they came up with this? Granted, I know in the late 80s, early 90s, Ninja Turtles were like... Pokemon, pretty much, as everywhere you looked, they had to be there because they were so marketable. And I'm not saying they're bad, I love Ninja Turtles, I've said this before. But my question still stands. Who thought it would be a good idea to give them a rock band? And if they were going to have a rock band, you think, couldn't they use the animatronics or the puppets they used in the first uh, Jim Henson Ninja Turtles movie? Because yeah, Jim Henson made the original Ninja Turtle puppets he used in the first live-action Ninja Turtles movie, and frankly, it looked great. Granted, it looked, you know, you could tell they were fake, but they at least worked for what they were. And they don't look nearly as terrifying as this. They're not clearly just wearing backpacks they spray-painted. Also, oh, what's with Leo having a Bronx accent? I'm genuinely curious at this point. Ooh. Wow, thanks, Leo. I was gonna buy one myself. Like I told you, you'd like it. My sons, children, please gather around. Oh my. Let's rock and roll! What did they do to Splinter? He looks like a fur ball. Like, in the old... Ew. They laminated a pizza. Huh. Okay, I'm going back to what I was saying, though. In the old comics, and all the cartoons, and all the movies, Splinter looked like a rat. He had a very distinct style to it. What is this thing? Two comic books and a pizza with pepperoni. Yeah, why not? The day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me. Games. Four manual covers, three skateboards, two comic books, and a pizza with pepperoni. I'm pretty sure they're just reusing half the footage here. It's gave to me. Six, five, video games. 
Well, manhole covers, three skateboards, two comic books, and a pizza with pepperoni. See, he can't even close his mouth there to eat that. That's that's disturbing. So, I feel like this should actually be asked. Was there any plot to this? Because, from what I understand, according to IMDb, the whole plot was them trying to get a gift for Splinter. Uh, I guess they did. So, did we even... So, really, shouldn't this be over by now? Four manhole covers, three skateboards, two hooking books, and a pizza with pepperoni. You know what? I'm going all out. The Christmas the totals gave to me. Five video games. Okay, those two shots they've literally reused five or six times now. Also, what's with all the kids? Did they like kidnap them to wrap their gifts because they couldn't with their huge plasticky hands? Well, that's kind of creepy actually when you think about it. They're like, Alright kids, you live with us now in the sewers and you're gonna eat rotten pizza that gets flushed down the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Why would Splinter need sneakers? You know, it's sad that while Splinter looks furthest off from what he actually should look like, he at least, his mouth can open and close like a normal human being. Somewhat. Well, I don't get the feeling that the actor just gave up at that point. Like, look at the kid right in front of him there. She clearly looks uninterested. Yeah, most of the kids here just kind of seem like they couldn't care less. No, it's not. The wreck of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald is. But the whole thing could be done in one verse. Check it out. <clears throat> The story lives on, oh, the boat she went down, and the people all died. Bummer. It is a time of sharing, of being with those who you love, and thinking of those less fortunate than you. Remember, my sons, that your love for me is the greatest gift you could bestow, and the only gift I will ever need. Aside from Michael Bay not making another one of movies with us, or another one of these turtle tunes, please do not ever make that happen again. Yay! No. Yeah, why not? We wish you a turtle's Christmas. I don't know what the rest of the lyrics are. I don't know what the Angelo. Okay. Donatello. Turtle's Christmas. A turtle's Christmas. We wish you a turtle's Christmas. What am I doing with my life? I'm just kidding. I love doing this for you guys. Whipped cream on pizza. I actually kind of want to try that now. That sounds pretty good. Not pickles, though. Pickles are disgusting. You know, you know what the saddest part is of all this, though? The guys in the turtle suits, they're giving it their all. Sure, it's terrible. They can't sing, they can barely act, but you can tell that they're just having the time of their lives in this. But you know what? If I was suddenly told, hey, put on this really bad-looking rubber plastic backpack turtles costume, and you're gonna sing Christmas songs, my reaction would be this. Where is the kit? Where's the change room? I am totally doing this. We wish you a turtle's Christmas and a raptor New Year. Wish you a raptor Christmas and a happy New Year. 
Merry Christmas, Dino Dudes. Until next time, I'm the Meteor Raptor saying keep cool, and I will see all you Dino Dudes around. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, oh look, those scary turtle things are back. A Raptor Christmas, I wish you a Raptor Christmas, I wish you a Raptor Christmas, and a Happy New Chugging back Mountain Dew and watching Sharknado. Wish you a rapid Christmas. I wish you a rapid Christmas. I wish you a rapid Christmas and a shark filled New Year. Filled with sharks and Sharknado. Dew. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just repeating the same lyrics over and over because that's what all our Christmas songs do. Hey, whose idea was it to come up with that totally gnarly Jamaican stuff? I like that Rastafarian kind of stuff. You know? you think it's not Rastafarian, you idiot. Nice it's it's reggae. Rastafarian is the Jamaican religion, which I totally respect. I respect like all that. the religions well, and stuff. I gotta tell you, it was yeah. totally cool, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, Mikey Man. How about that 12 days, though, man? Did that go on for like 12 years or what? No, it feels what like this, dude. What are you talking about, uh, my son? Oh, sorry, Master Splinter. <laughs> I mean, it was like the best song of the whole thing. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I'll, I'm going to play it right now. Well, you know, we really like the kids helping us out on uh, getting a gift for Splinter and, and, and singing We Wish You a Turtle's Christmas. I mean, that was really nice. It was very... Christmassy. We just wish we hadn't killed their parents, and now that they're stuck with us forever to make us pizza, be oh slaves. <laughs> that was some Christmas tree, though, wasn't it? Oh man, it was like totally awesome. And what was with that pair of sneakers you got me? They were a little too small for my feet, and I only have three toes. Thank you very much. Oh come on, man! I'm trying to do the best I can. Hey, I'm from the Bronx. You think I care about your stupid feelings? That's about like all they had left. You ever tried to go out and buy a sneaker with two toes? Uh, the lady almost like laughed me out of Macy's, man. Come on, Leo. Hey, you know, I really like that Donatello watch. That sold like hotcakes, like totally happening this Christmas. Oh, man, I got one on right now, but it, it, wait a minute. I think it stopped, man. What's going on out there, man? Hey, give me some of that.